so i will be uh, setting up this machine uh, which is the t5500 uh, and by the way i am using the naming convention from dota 2 uh, you might want to be using a uh, naming convention which is uh, quite large enough or large enough for the render farm that you want to be setting up like if you have 10 machines uh, uh, so uh, you might want to be using a consistent naming convention or something like that so uh, uh, it has uh, two CPUs uh, this uh, this CPU is using uh, the bank uh, which is going to be installed in here and I will be using this graphic card by by the way uh, I'm using uh, all all of these graphics card which are Nvidia GT uh, 630 I believe so and uh, in these machines because I will not be using uh, GPU rendering I am going for the CPU rendering build because I want to go cheap you know like I don't want to pay the premium price for the AMD Threadripper which is 3970x which is quite expensive so by the way it has uh, uh, some certain advantages because if you use uh, one uh, system uh, uh, the, uh, you can utilize use uh, distributed uh, rendering on one single machine the distributed rendering uh, not the distributed rendering I mean the interactive rendering uh, interactive rendering currently a lot of the renders uh, which I know like Arnold V-Ray Corona render uh, they don't do not support the interactive rendering in on the multiple machines uh, I hope uh, so in the future uh, these mach uh, these uh, you know uh, render might you know support these so if by the way it will be you know super amazing and awesome if they support uh, the uh, in the interactive rendering they support the uh, multiple uh, machines so that that would be awesome okay so back to the uh, point uh, so uh, in this machine i will be uh, i mean all of these machines the t5500 ones i will be using the ssd uh, 250 gb wd and more or less i will be putting the uh, two terabyte uh, as the secondary drive and uh well that's it now let's get started uh, i'm going to open this up from here and uh, uh th th these are the memory module by the way i am using uh, 32 gigabyte of ram on these computers uh, actually on all of these computers which is uh, not that much uh, it would be great if these machines have 64 gigabyte of ram uh, that will be great for uh, you know network simulations and for uh, rendering purposes as well so let me remove everything from these machines and uh, try setting them up from uh, scratch uh, 